Okay, so welcome to Satarishis, and this is our first class of decoding Krishi's prediction, Bhrigu Nandi Nadi. Okay, so I can see today a lot of new students are uh, joining for today's session. So before we start, just I would like to ask one general question. How many of you uh, are doing Vedic Jyotish? Or we, we, we are also call it no, Parashari Astronomy. How many of you are doing Parashari? You can just raise, your hand, raise your hands. So in the Anish, there is an option uh, oh, hand raise Karnega. Sir, your intention yeah. is to ask, uh, are we practicing Parashari Practice. means like we are yes. learning or we are actually uh, doing learning, learning, learning. Yeah. yeah fair professionally enough. you are doing or not, it doesn't matter, but yes, that's right. Yep. You are learning or you have started learning recently. This is what I'm asking. Thank okay. you, sir. Yeah. So uh, as we can see, many people are already doing uh, Parashari system. <coughs> what about rest of others? Some people are doing Lal Kitab. And some others are doing maybe Nadi Astrology also. Okay, so you can... Uh, Okay, so now tell me how many of you are doing Nadi astrology? I'm not saying Brigunandi Nadi, I'm saying any form of Nadi system. They can raise their head. When I say any form, I hope everybody, if you are doing Nadi, some Nadi system are based on stellar nakshatra, they also call it Nadi. Maybe some of you are practicing. Techniques from Chandrakala Nadi, Saptarishi Nadi. Correct? So, how many of you are doing Nadi system? Okay, very few. See, why I am asking this question? This is our first class. This is a free session, obviously, but uh, whether you will continue in advance or not doesn't matter. But this one thing you should know from first session only. That is, when we say this Nadi system, na, so people generally take it as a completely different from the Parashari. They compare it with Parashari. Okay, so I'm doing Brigunandi Nadi, so I'm just doing something else than the Parashari. They call it very advanced. Okay, Nadi system is very advanced and something different from the Parashari and all. So, I will not use the word Parashari here, I will call it Vedic. Okay. And you need to understand every form of Jyotish. Okay. Whether you call it Nadi or Parashari, combined we call it as a Vedic. Okay. So in every class, you will realize it. By the end of every class, you will come to know whatever you are studying in Nadi, whether it's a Brigo Nadi or Nandi Nadi. Or you pick any Nadi system. At the end of every class, you will realize, okay, this is already in the Vedic. Correct. I will show you today also that thing. So now, when you read different books on the Nadi system, na, so they claim or they say this is a completely different system in itself. Okay. If you are doing Parashari or Vedic systems, you will get confused. So you need to unlearn whatever you have done. And you have to start it completely as a beginner. Okay, so that is not true. That is not completely true. In our course, we are... Uh, In our course, our textbook is Prigunandi Nadi by Arjuna. I hope everybody knows this. Okay, and, you, and if you have that book, you can keep it with you in this class. We will use that book in many charts. Okay, you can take out that book. So now, when we say Nadi, na, so there are different Nadis available with us. Okay. Like some of Nadis, you may have no like very famous one is the Mahashiva Nadi. 
okay i don't know how many of you heard this name okay but you should know all about this okay mahashiva nadi then bhrigu nadi there is another card kaumara nadi kaushika nadi vashishta nadi agastya nadi saptarishi okay satya nadi chandrakala nadi like this there are many nadi that's uh, available with us okay in south of india there are many uh, temples in which you can see these nadis anybody in the class who have taken any consultation from nadi astrologer i am talking about palm leaves okay only one good so what happens there if okay, they they ask your thumbprint okay and by using the thumbprint they take out your chart or your leaves okay and they read it for you the text the format uh, of the text is written in native language maybe in sanskrit also okay they read it for you and you will see all prediction related to your life is already written in that text okay but the reasoning is not given like how they are uh, coming to this conclusion okay so nadi granth you will see they they are predicting your complete name your name your spouse name your brother sister how many brother sisters you are your parents name which city you are belongs to every final details uh, it is mentioned in nadi okay but the logic is not given they will not give you any astrological reasoning for it correct so these are one type of nadis there are some other nadis in which you will see like for example chandrakala nadi we have we also call it dev kiran okay that book that book is available in pocket you all can read it there is another nadi saptarishi nadi i hope this name everybody know saptarishi nadi very famous book available in ranjan publication very small book but originally saptarishi nadi is not a small it contains almost every ascendant for every ascendant they have different charts and it is in the form of discussion between saptarishi is that mata parvati okay so only few lagnas are available with us in hindi and english the rest of others are not translated it okay but in these nadis now you will see the principles okay rules for the prediction all in saptarishi nadi rishi is doing prediction mata mata parvati ask okay this is the chart do your analysis so agastya rishi is doing some analysis garga rishi is doing some analysis they are they are giving some reasonings also abhi just now i just sir i am uh, hmm. subramaniam from shumoga yeah uh, sir actually i have also visited many nadi readers in uh, tamil nadu and i had t- taken readings in vaideshwaran koil uh, and uh, near selam tiruvalli and many other places Hmm. Uh, actually, our C A B Sundaram, he yes. was the greatest. He was from I Cos, and also I, I was also a student. He said there there are two types of Nadi: Tantra Nadi and Mantra Nadi. Whereas hmm. uh, in uh, Mantra Nadi, Jiva Nadi and Rajiva Nadi. Jiva Nadi, Nirjiva Nadi. Jiva Nadi. In Jiva Nadi, once the, the reader opens the palm leaves, the uh, he goes yeah. on reading it. By the text will text will change automatically yeah uh, text will change automatically yes so jeevanadi only the principles are given and we have to decode the principles to analyze the telescope yes and uh, jeevanadi only those persons who, uh, who approach the nadi readers they will only get their readings correct it will appear on the leaves <laughs> yeah so subramanian subramanian is saying uh, see this thing is mentioned in one of our book in saptarishi publication there is a book insights in nadis Yes, yes, sir. It's written by okay. Sundaram Sir himself. Yes, yeah, Sundaram Sir. Hmm. So in that book, you will re- you will uh, he's saying there are two different kinds of nadi. Okay, Jeev nadi and Nirjeev nadi. Ajeev nadi, yes, sir. Okay, hmm. or Ajeev nadi, Nirjeev nadi. Okay, so 
in jeevanadi what happens is whenever you approach for the consultation or for the reading na so in that uh, nadi leaves script will change or the uh, what, whatever is written that will change as per the uh, client who is approaching i understanding like like if i am taking consultation so that will change for me okay my my horoscope will show in that uh, jeevanadi and whatever belongs to me the so those things you will see in that jeev nadi okay so this this thing you should re- read that book insight in nadis that is available in saptarishi publication so you can see the classification there is another uh, part of nadi test in which you will see the rules and principles for the horoscope analysis okay so the part which we are dealing in our course that belongs to the second month okay but see the rules and principles everybody is teaching in the internet okay there are many courses are going on in which you will see the people are teaching brigham and dinadi rules and all then what is the uh, difference in our course we are mixing some part of uh, that other nadi is also other nadi means what you know the textbook which we recommend for Uh, our course regunandi nadi by rg rao mm-hmm. yeah av gopal krishna ji you have raised your hand yeah, yeah namaste namaste yeah in regunandi nadi the main thing which get uh, we get one confusion that is it is very easy to say that any planet in the chart sitting anywhere any house is connected to another house because of that east south east west uh, and north classification <laughs> Mm-hmm. but it is very difficult to identify a, if a planet a planet is absolutely not connected to another planet so that is a confusion i think uh, you understood the point yeah i understood the point and this is not your your problem only many people have this question yeah okay, because because it, it looks like this some planet is connected to every other planet correct yeah. this is what you are asking but yeah this is not true okay there is a way like how you approach okay uh-huh. so if you go by the definition only the directions okay east west so if we divide the planets ultimately it is, it is going to connect with every other aspect yeah okay. so at the end it is impossible to do predictions this is what you were saying no? yeah yeah exactly exactly but this is not the case okay there is a way okay how how you look the chart okay so that we will teach this is our task okay mm-hmm. so that you will come to know you know in issues because i know this problem initially i also had this question okay but uh, okay we know how to deal with it okay, okay. so yeah the thing is yeah i'm talking about this book okay so bigunandi nadi by rg rao so if you read yeah. that book na that book people say okay these book the charts given in that book is from pamilis Ah. Yes, R J R J R J copied that thing and uh, he translated it in English, and we have that book. Okay, but what is my opinion? This is not true. R J R J <coughs> taken the predictions from the Nadi leaks, not the charts. Ah. Right? I hope everybody is understanding what I am trying to say. Okay, don't think. whatever charts are given in that book is directly from the uh, brigunandi nadi uh. no okay as i told you in nadi granth predictions are given for the charts okay but not rules okay so what rg rao did done he know the system okay he he has some other books also fundamentals of rao system essence in nadi astrology correct there are different uh, six seven books If you if you see those books, he has given some rules, some set of rules, some system. He derived some system how to do predictions. Okay, so by using those system, he taken the predictions from the Brigu Nadi and Nandi Nadi. Okay, there are two different Nadis combined. Okay, Brigu Nadi is a different one. Nandi Nadi is a different one. Okay, so he have taken the predictions from the Brigu Nadi and Nandi Nadi. He applied. those things in the chart and those charts are given in our book clear go sometimes there are many predictions which you see like uh 
profession related to modern uh, days like carpenter okay software engineer or some kind engineers these things are given in that okay so these engineers and all these things is uh, what do you call it? Uh, latest profession okay those those are not available in those days okay so like this there are many other uh, proofs or evidences are available which is enough to give us an idea that the predictions given in that book is from nadi okay but the charts are modern charts okay you can verify it you know the planetary position and all you can easily check those things okay so what we will do now okay so in our course let's say whatever we uh, learn let's say today we are learning something about marriage correct so in the same class i will take 10 15 charts or uh, number depends on the class to class okay from the book okay and we see what rishi predicted okay and how he coming to that contradiction okay and whatever rules we we are going to study in our course those same rules we will apply and you will see you can decode those predictions easily okay this is something new we are doing in our course that nobody is doing in um, other platforms correct so that's why we are saying our textbook will be uh, rj rao's bigunandi nadi is it correct now as i am telling you <coughs> from now onward you need to keep uh, one thing clear in your mind okay don't consider this nadi system as a separate system in itself okay you consider it as a one system one holistic system we call it jyotish okay parashari nadi whatever you call that is only one due to some branding or due to some other reasons people using the different names and they call it different system i derive there are many people who using same nadi system they given their own name and they say we have invented this system okay so some after some days when you learn this uh, this prigunandi nadi na you will come to know about those people and those books also okay so we will not do that thing always give credit to the original author maybe author rishi acharya or deva whatever you are learning you should know where that knowledge is coming from which rishi or which uh, devi devta or which acharya or whatever author correct so now similarly for example i have given an example of that uh, name of saptarishi nad correct i am i am telling you now uh, why i am saying everything is connected everything is only one jyotish vedic okay because everybody is reading this uh, system in different different uh, like you are interested in bhrigunandi nadi you are you are only reading bhrigunandi nadi you you have never seen the saptarishi nadi the people who read saptarishi nadi they they uh, give their concentration only on saptarishi nadi they don't know about other nadis okay but if you read every nadi na you will realize these nadis are just extension of the same vedic system how in bhrigunandi nadi we will learn about the uses of karak planets karak tatvas okay in very detail whole bhrigunandi nadi is based on the karak planets if anybody is doing brigunandi nadi or have done brigunandi nadi they can confirm it okay directions and karak tatvas by using these two major principles and the progression method correct these only two three methods are there by using these two three methods 
we are doing every production even rishi is also doing production we are not using lagna at all okay but if you read saptarishi nadi na so you will realize karatatva is there okay but not like bhrigunandi nadi they are, they are also using karatatva but their main focus is on lagna and dispositor okay dispositor they are using there are some other nadis dhruva nadi or what you call satyacharya jatak satyacharya dhruva nadi okay they are using divisional charts chandrakala nadi you pick where you will see the they are using navamsha okay nadi amsha very extensively am i correct so can we call okay dhruva nadi is something else or oh, it is different from the vedic or can we call now bhrigunandi nadi is different one okay if you all have done some basics in vedic jyotish so you have already read about uh, karak tatvas okay divisional charts okay some 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 basics about everything correct but you are not going into a depth of that particular topic okay so this bhrigunandi nadi is giving you an opportunity to deal this karak tatva of planets rashis okay and directions by using these three concepts of vedic only that is already taught in vedic is not something new okay but what bhrigunandi nadi granth is giving bhrigunandi nadi granth is showing you by only these three methods you can do accurate predictions okay but if you read saptarishi nadi you will realize okay by using dispositor also i can do prediction by using lagna also we can do prediction okay but if you read some other nadi dhruva nadi satyacharya system you will realize okay by using lagna i can go to more um, depth and we can reach to the nadi amsha okay maybe after few years i will come up with new system which i derived from the dhruva nadi i will give it to my name and i can make it a completely different system in itself correct this is what we are doing right now everybody is uh coming up with new system and so don't do this okay so from this class onward you need to understand whatever you are studying in nadi those things you have already seen in vedic okay but the application of that one system okay you will see like in bhrigunandi nadi we are picking only karaka karatatva planets rashis and directions only by these three rules we are decoding the chart maybe after few months after completion of this course if you are interested go and read saptarishi nadi that is also not something new that is again vedic only okay whatever you have read till now that all things you can see in saptarishi nadi difference is they are playing with dispositor and lagna in bhrigunandi nadi we will play with only karaka planets rashis and directions is it clear okay so yes, from sir. now onward no need to say nadi is very advanced say nothing advanced in nadi only thing is the depth is there okay it means you pick only one topic for for some collections of topic we have different nadis you you heard the name of nadi amsha if i am correct satyacharya rishi was the first person who given the nadi amsha if i am not wrong so for every nadi amsha he have given the complete detail predictions of the life okay now that is a complete different uh, system in itself people call it different system no it is not a different system 
again the whole basic principles everything is from vedic only we know it already but we don't know how to apply it correct mother is vedic correct we can call it same thing goes with the prashna prashna system in our course we deal with the prashna also okay kashyap hora is the name of that particular uh, text which deals with the nadi prashna system there are different nadi prashna system okay but this kashyap hora is similar to what we are going to study in brigunandhi nadi every principle is same and we will see in that particular uh, lectures how to use those things in prashna also okay and i have done many prashna system and this is my personal experience this kashyap hora this nadi system of prashna is one of the easiest system available for us nothing is easier than this okay no tough calculation nothing let's prepare the chart prashna chart and use the hora and whatever we see in brigunandhi nadi those principles apply it that's it okay so today people are still joining okay so any doubt till now whatever we have discussed okay we have not discussed any technique till now but still this is important what is nadi amsha okay this i will keep for some other session otherwise our time will waste on this particular topic maybe up to at the end of class i can take it okay which is a best software for bnn chart with no software is available okay some software available which can give you directional chart okay in saptarishi astrology desk app you can see it or another software we call it ephemeris that also give uh, bnn chart so bnn chart i mean directional chart what direction chart all these things we will learn in our course okay but if you know little bit you can use these softwares so will this confuse someone who is learning vedic astrology shriman hai this is what i am explaining till now for next uh, last 30 minutes there is no confusion for the vedic jyotish people okay vedic astrology people can do it more better okay they can do it more better so there is no any confusion so if you know vedic jyotish you know every principle of vedic jyotish so i am saying out of all principle i am just picking only karak tatva of planets rashi that's it no other topics okay maybe in our advanced classes we will include lagna also okay so when i include the lagna i will give you the reference of nadi so which particular nadi say this okay so no issues for the vedic astrology people okay let's say okay i will do today this topic only you know in vedic jyotish we have a yoga we call it kemudram yoga anybody know what is kemudram yoga what so anybody can unmute and give us some definition of kemudram yoga kemudram yoga means the, when the planet positioned uh, uh, before and after moon that is called kemudram planet is placed before and after moon or planet is not placed before and after moon yes sir that's when what there are, when there are no planets when that moon has no planets when there are no planets is... when there are no planets okay correct with rahu ketu exception yeah there are some exception not only rahu ketu there are some other exceptions also okay no planet before in general sense we can call it no planet before and after uh to moon this is just a general definition of kemudram yoga 
Okay, so what is the result of this? By this, moon becomes weak. Okay, we say moon lose the strength, and there are many result, results I mentioned. This is what we study in Vedic, correct? But in Nadi system, in Brugunandi Nadi, we will see this rule which says if no planet is placed 2 and 12 house, it means before and after the planet, planet will not get support or we can call it that, that planet as a weak planet. This is one of the rule which we use in Brigunandi Nadi hundreds of times. Okay, in Vedic system, if you want to know the strength of planet, okay, there are two, three methods for it. Okay, by using the placement, exaltation, debilitation, combustion, by mixing all these things, we can know it. There are other uh, concepts, we call it uh, Shadban. Okay, by that method, we can know the strength. But in Bhrigunandi Nari, if planet is placed alone, no planet in 2 and 12, we call it weakest planet. Now, now you understanding what is, can we call it, this is complete new or it is derived only from the Vedic. The problem is in Vedic when you read the Kamudram Yoga, na, so your whole focus is on moon only. But you are not understanding the depth, okay, why Rishi is attributing to the moon only. If, if you read the result, results belongs to moon. So what happens when moon becomes weak? Those results are given for the yoga. But you need to think beyond this. Can we apply the same principle for other planets? Why only moon becomes weak? If 212 is empty, why not other planets? But Nadi is giving you that uh, scope of uh, thought. Nadi is saying not only moon. Apply this for every planet. And this is one of the biggest concept in Brigunandi Nadi. Okay, now tell me, can we call it as an advance or something new in Brigunandi Nadi? No, this is just extension of Vedic. Now, whatever we are we are studying in Vedic, we are just looking into that same thing but in different angle. Okay, this is something beautiful thing which you will learn in Nadi. It will give you more depth in your understanding. Whatever yoga in Vedic, whether it's a Kemudram yoga, Gajakesari yoga, some other yogas, okay, for every yoga, different Nadis, they have come up with different concepts. If you backtrack them, you will reach to Vedic only. Okay, think about this. So, this is the answer to Sriman Narangi. I hope Sriman Narangi, it is clear. So, you will don't want to worry. You can do it. Sure, sir. Thank you. No, because I'm, uh, you know, we have been in this journey. I've taken many of the courses from you as well. Okay. So, just wanting to make sure that, uh, you know, the, the confusion would be smaller, right? Yes. No, no. no need to worry. Even your understanding will become better. <laughs>